I, a lot of times the Bible both has a spiritual and a physical meaning. And with Sodom and Gomorrah, it was physical. Um, we know that the last days will be like the days of Noah. But a lot of people relate also to the last days of being like uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah are time and time again used in scriptures as the examples, par excellence, of the sin of man and the judgment of God. They are so used even by Jesus himself. And so I just want to read here in Genesis 19, uh, share with you here. It says, And there came two angels to Sodom at even, like in the evening. And Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. And Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them. And he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. He said, Behold now, my lords, turn in, I pray you, even to your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and you shall rise up early and go on your ways. He said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned into him, and entered into his house, and made them a feast, and did break unleavened bread, and they did eat. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, could pass the house round, both old and young, all the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot, and they said to, unto him, Where are the men? which came in to thee this night. Bring them out unto us, that we may know them. So this account describes the men of the city attempting to forcibly have sex with two angelic visitors to the city, who appeared in the form of men. And you'll see in the later parts of the Old Testament, they accuse Sodom of a range of sins, which are oppression, adultery, lying, abetting criminals, arrogance, complacency, and indifference to the poor. But none of these mention homosexual conduct. So this has led some people to wonder if we have read homosexuality into the Genesis scriptures, when in fact the real issue was social oppression and injustice. But in reality, it does mean homosexuality because the text makes it clear that the word for no um, in Hebrew is yada, can mean, or yodea, sorry, I said it wrong, can just mean to get to know someone rather than to quote unquote know them sexually. But from the crowd's aggression, and Lot's attempt to offer his daughters, they are looking for much more than just a simple social acquaintance. So what happens next is the angels warn Lot that judgment is coming. I'll read on. So it says, And when the morning rose, the angels hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. Come, like a blow. So on the spiritual side of things, how many times has the Lord pulled you out of Sodom and Gomorrah? Like over and over and over again, right? We can be thankful that we are called by the Lord by grace. And we have been pulled out of all the inequity and all the torment, even though physically it surrounds us. And 
while he lingered, the men laid hold upon his hand, and upon the hand of his wife, and upon the hand of his two daughters. The Lord be merciful unto him, and they brought him forth, and set him without the city. And it came to pass, and they brought them forth abroad. He had said, Escape for thy life. Look not behind me, neither stay. Thou in all the plain, escape to the mountains, thou be consumed. So the sun was risen upon the earth, and Lot entered into Zoar. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities, and all the plain, and all the inhabitants of the cities, that thou which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. You know, we become saved, right? And we accept the Lord. We're supposed to turn around and repent. That means I turn 180 degrees around. And when we do that, we should not look behind us. Because if we do, to go back to our old ways, then it will be the road to destruction. Just as it was for Lot's wife. And so that's part of being a Christian, is to look forward and not backwards. Do your name.